What's up? What's up? How's it going? This is Mr. Opinionated coming to you to talk a little bit about the subject of passing the torch. Now, the inspiration for, for today's live came from Anjanette Pruitt. She posted a question on her Facebook page talking about block clubs and asking, do block clubs still exist? Um, what happened to them? Are they still alive and going? And it, it got me to thinking about the question of passing the torch. Now, many of you know that there are people in our family who do uh, significant things. We call them the pillars in our families. It may be the person that cooks the peach cobbler. It may be the person that plans the family reunions. There are people in our communities who do things that they are well known for. Oftentimes, we do not create people to come up behind us and pick up the torch. Or we forget that we have to mentor people in order for things to continue. If you look across the spectrum, it happens in family businesses. It happens in churches. It happens in community organizations. It happens everywhere. If you fail to put someone in the place to step up behind you, Oftentimes, things will die out. It happens a lot of times. You have this older, seasoned person, and they're doing great things. They, they can be depended on. They get all of the stuff done. And you have nobody that is working with them, nobody that is learning the ropes, nobody that is learning the ins and outs of what they actually do. We lose a lot of family history this way. So it's very crucial and very important that the things that we do, we are teaching somebody else how to do them. In addition, for those of us who are the next people in line, it's very important that we get prepared to carry the torch. Oftentimes, we don't want to be the chosen one. We don't want to be the next one. Some people shrink away from carrying the torch because the responsibility may be too much for them in their heads. But what happens when nobody steps up to carry that torch? Things die. History disappears. Stories are lost. If nobody decides to step up and get in the driver's seat and say, you know what? This is very significant to this organization. This is very significant to this family. I think I need to learn what this person is doing so that the tradition can continue. I have talked to so many people who did not record history from their great grandparents, did not record history from their grandparents. People did not even record history from their parents and the things that they knew and the wisdom that they had and the little tricks that they had to get things going got lost. And I believe this is one of the things that has happened to families. If you take a look at our families, a lot of them are significantly different from the way they used to be. You may have had Big Mama, you may have had Papa doing these things, built these families, and, and really invested their time in strengthening and extended families. You go down the line as years go on and on, and that person passes away, and nobody has learned any of these tricks, nobody has learned any of these recipes, Nobody has learned any of these family connections. And we basically have people standing around scratching their heads, wondering how did they do all of this? How did they make this work? How were these things possible that they did? When in fact, nobody took the time to prepare themselves to carry the torch. So I think it's very, very important that we identify those people in our families, identify those people in the organizations that we're a part of, identify those people who we even work with and say, you know what? I need to know what you know. I need to learn some of the things that you have inside of your head because we're not always going to be there. You're not going to always be there. And in order for me to carry on tradition, in order for me to help things continue that you have put in place, I need to place myself in a position to be the person that can carry the torch. Now, what are some barriers? You have some people who don't want you to know what they know because they're in fear that you'll take their job, 
a lot of people don't want to be replaced. A lot of people don't want to be pushed to the side. But if you're one of those people who are trying to position themselves to be the person that carries the torch, you have to make the person uh, feel comfortable with you carrying on their legacy. Let them know, you know what, I'm not trying to push you out of the way. I'm not trying to steal your shine. I'm not trying to get rid of you. What I am trying to do is make sure that the work and the good things that you have done will continue. In addition, we cannot be afraid to take responsibility. We cannot be afraid to step up. Oftentimes when somebody mentions um, carrying on a work, people shrink back, they run. They, well, I don't want to do that, or I don't want to be responsible for it. But the question you must ask yourself is, if you don't do it, who's going to do it? If nobody around you steps up to learn these traditions, to learn how this works, to learn the ins and outs or whatever this person did, how is the tradition going to continue? How is the legacy going to continue? Who's going to do it? If nobody does it, we'll all sit around looking stupid and crazy, wondering just how things got done when nobody took the time to learn how to do it. So that was my message. I thank you so much for Anjanette um, raising the question about block clubs because so many block clubs have disappeared because you basically had a case of, you know, that older person on the block that kept things running, that was collecting the money, that planned the block clubs right before school started, that held people together. And nobody stepped up and things disappeared and died. So let's not be the reason why things die in our families. Let's not be the reason why things die in our organizations. Let's decide today that I am going to be one of the people that carry the torch. Because there is going to come a time when your time is going to be up, when it's going to be time for you to go on. And you are going to have to identify a person that you can spend time with, identify a person that you can mentor to carry on the torch so that that cause can go on. So that's my video message for today. Thank you so much for listening. Remember, we have to have torch carriers in order for things to go on. So you can follow me on all social media at Mr. Opinionated. That is M-R-O-P-E-N-Y-O-N-A-T-E-D. Peace out. Talk to you later. What's up, Damar? What's up, Robin? Thank you so much for you people that tuned in. I will see you later. Peace out.